Okay, we're good. We're live on YouTube as well. All right. Okay, so if you have not been here before, just go ahead and raise your hand so I can see who is new here tonight. All righty. Ms. Joanna, hello. Welcome. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, you moved positions, I guess. What happened? I don't know. The screen is weird sometimes. Uh, Barbara is new. Barbara did the... I, I always forget about the hands where you can actually click on the hand symbol. I forget about that on YouTube. All right. Great. And uh, since you guys are new, I just want to let you know about the chat feature for Zoom, if you have not used it before, if you click on the chat icon and the window, you can actually just move that whole window out and over somewhere else so that it's always open because your way of communicating with me will be through chat. So if you have a question about something that I do, um, you know, you have a suggestion of a hand, or you want to ask why I did what I did, or if I say something and you're not sure and you just want to say, can you explain that again? <clears throat> Please put it in the chat in Zoom. And we've got already nine watching on YouTube. So hello, everybody. Hi, Linda and Mary on YouTube. All right. Well, it, since you guys haven't been here before, let me start by asking you how you heard about the live stream. If you could put that in the chat window, it would be, would be great and very helpful for me. I'd love to know how people find out about this event. And <clears throat> while you're doing that, um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and head over to I Love Maj. And by the way, Phyllis, I want to introduce you to Phyllis. Phyllis is here uh, unless, unless, Something drastically happens and she can't make it. She's not here, but she is here faithfully every Wednesday night. And she is my assistant. So uh, we go head to head at times with, with our philosophies about Maja. Um, but she's always here to assist me and keep me on the straight and narrow. And she'll she'll watch out for chat too and bug me. My husband is, is also on the in the background. He'll let people in that come in a little bit late. And um, okay, so both Barb and Joanna received emails about the live stream. Well, that's super. So that means that you got added to the email list one way or another. Uh, and that's super that you heard about it and came on. So, and um, Barb and Joanna, can you tell me what your level of play is? Or you can even just tell me how long you've been playing a month, six months, a year, whatever you want to put in there, it'd be great. Okay, let me share my screen and head over to I Love Match where we're going to play. <clears throat> okay, come on, you can do it, screen. I love Match.com and here we are, okay. All right, well, here is my go-to platform for conducting these live streams. And uh, if you are not familiar with it, I'll just give you my quick rundown. Sorry to bore you uh, attendees that have been here before, but I need to do it for anybody new. I Love Maj is an online gaming platform, one of many that are out there today. And every single one of the platforms are fantastic, but they all are different in a variety of ways. Now with I Love Maj, I'll tell you a couple of things that stand out for me as being my go-to place to practice the game, improve my skills, and just all around have fun playing Mahjong when I can't get an in-game person going. And the first reason is because they have an exercise room, which is phenomenal. And this is where you are will have the ability to strengthen and learn the card, which is what we all need to do to get to a higher level of play. If 
you know, when you're a new player, you have to figure out how to put the tiles together, how to choose the hands. And it's so confusing figuring out which one of the categories you're going to start working on and go to. But the more you practice these skills in the exercise room, the more it's going to reinforce the hands on the card. And eventually you won't have to be looking. Yeah, you do look at it. I'm not, I don't know the card by heart at this point, but I know it enough where I know where I'm going to go, what angles, what possibilities there are, as opposed to being like, you know, what am I doing? What am I doing? Which is where everybody is going to start out. So we want to get everybody to that point of being able to see all the possibilities quickly and in your mind. So come in and play around with these exercises when you have a chance to do that. The other thing I love about I Love Maj is this is their game launch pad. And this is where you'll play uh, either with friends or with the box. If you're going to play with friends, uh, you, I recommend, I mean, playing now online with players, it, you don't know levels of people's play when you do that. You don't know when people are online. You could always try it. But the best thing to do is if you have friends that play, is just arrange a time just like you would do for in person and play at a personal table. And when you do that, you could join someone's table if they've started the table or you could launch your own table. It's very intuitive. I'm telling you, it is as easy as can be. And they have a lot of videos on here so that you can watch if you need to learn how anything uh, operates. Now, the schedule a game with a friend is another way to do it. And this could be maybe, you know, uh, just one friend and you're going to play with the box or you could do it with uh, groups. And it's uh, either one. It's simple. Either this or this. They're both wonderful. Playing with bots, you have two options. We play an official game. And I play with the advanced level bots, but I want to just quickly go over for the newer attendees tonight that these are three levels uh, of intelligence, basically, that they have coded and built into these bots. So a standard level player plays very much, a standard level bot plays very much like a beginner Mahjong player. And that's where you should start when you come in and play and practice, uh, because you're not going to have somebody really competitive playing against you and you're not winning any of the games. So you want to have a fair playing a level playing field when you're playing. As you get better and you're starting to learn the card and you understand how to play, uh, a lot more, then you move up to the intermediate level and start playing with bots that now are making wiser decisions. And then when you get through with being an intermediate and you think you're ready to challenge, and first of all, you could challenge yourself no matter what, because you have really nothing to lose here. It's all fun, right? Uh, but the advanced level bots play just like uh, when I play in person with people that are playing this game for years and years and usually memorize the card within a month, okay? So I'm just saying, they're pretty, pretty tough, but I love playing with them because it continues to help me strengthen my game. Now, when you come in as a new player, you're gonna wanna click the just for fun mode it gives you the opportunity to play the same three levels of bots. But if you click enable practice mode, you'll have a hand suggestion, a hand that's there that you click on it and it'll give you suggestions of hands. And it'll also give you a discard tile counter so you could look to see what's already been discarded. I think it's nice to be able to utilize this as a newer player 
but if you feel comfortable and you don't need that anymore, you want to turn it off. Again, it's all about growth. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started, and you're just going to hear me complain a whole lot if I don't get jokers like I don't get very often on Wednesday night, but it's all good because what it's all about is not always winning the game, uh, but how to play the game, play a good strategic and defensive game and make the right decisions and try to get close to Mahjong even if we don't win. All right, so I'm going to choose advanced and it's going to pull up another box that's going to ask me if I'm open to live games and that would alert me if somebody is playing online. I'm going to say no. So I don't get interrupted during the game because then it'll pop me out of my current game that I'm working on and put me into that other player's game. And so I don't want to do that. Now, if you didn't choose the right bot level, you have the ability to change it here. And everybody should have the 2023 card already defaulted. We don't need to worry about this until 2024 when people have their 2024 card earlier than others, they will change the card accordingly to that. We keep the auto timer off, but this is just a timer that counts down uh, the number of seconds that it takes you to decide on a tile that has been, been discarded, whether you need to call it or not. Even if you choose four seconds, and you're down to one, you can click a pause button. So there, it's never going to run out of time if you don't want it to. It's just something to help you speed up your the thought process when a tile is discarded, which is a challenge when you're playing as a new player in, uh, in person. So that helps you build that skill there. You could look at the different tiles and all that good stuff in here. Uh, but for tonight, we're going to play with the classic style. And I'm going to go ahead and get started here. And I sort my tiles by suit. Uh, if you want to look and sort by rank, you certainly can. But I sort by suit. It was the way I was taught from way back when. It's the way I teach. And this is just merely a way to get organized at the beginning. Uh, nothing stays this way at all. Uh, I know Phyllis is already studying the tiles and coming up with her ideas of hands. I see how intense she is on these lovely tiles. And normally, uh, I start out with working off of any hairs or pungs. Sometimes I've had a Kong. Uh, to begin with, but that would be any uh, double, triple, or uh, four of a kind tiles. So that would be pairs, pongs, or kongs. And then I work off of those, but maybe the next game or the next game or whatever, we'll come up with that. Um, and so, and Barbara said she's been playing since eight and she's 73. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, Barbara might have a thing or two to teach me. Joanne has been playing six months and great. So glad that you're here. So uh, we're just going to have fun with all this tonight. Okay, so this is a hand where uh, it would be a little scary for a beginner to look at and try to figure out what the heck to do. And I just want to mention that I put my winds and dragons to the right. I don't really care where you leave them, but I am just so used to doing this. And I do this just because the winds and dragons are on the right hand side of the card and they have their own category and that's where my head and brain is just used to seeing them i put my jokers on the left i've heard people tell me they put it on the right i don't want to put it on the right because knowing me i'll accidentally <laughs> discard it <laughs> so i keep mine on the left here okay when you have a tough hand like this and i only say tough now because things will change the easiest way to get this kind of sorted out to figure out which direction you're going to go in to begin with would be to put them in evens and odds. And so I'm going to do that and see if I get any more clarity. Well, let's see. I hate when that happens. I've got 
uh, six tiles in the 13579, and I've got four in the 2468. So I've got more in odds than I do in evens. And then um, the other thing I might also look at and consider would be consecutive run, because if you don't know it already, the consecutive run section of the card is the most flexible. So it should be your fallback when anything else fails and you've got some runs going on. So, you know, I do have some run stuff here going on. And when I say runs, I don't mean the same suit. So when I say a run, I'm not saying to you, oh, focus in on just two, three, four. I'm saying focus in on, take four numbers, unless you're going to also be able to keep track of line number one, which has five numbers, and they have to be those numbers exactly. Focus in on the four or five numbers that surround the, the run. So in this particular case, I have one, four, two, three, four, five sitting there. Okay, that's, you know, that's okay. And I'm sure that some things might play out nicely in that run family. Now, if I wanted to keep track of other stuff, what else other than figuring out evens or odds? So I always look at like numbers, don't have a lot, a lot. I got two fours and I've got two nines, not, not you know, great at this point, it's kind of weak. And um, I do have, you know, the East and this year it's very popular, the third hand line down under Winds and Dragons with the run. I do have two, three, four. Uh, there have been times when I have a mishmash like this, I'll hold my, my East just in case I start getting in some of those things in the run. Having one East is, somewhat weak. And I think for the purpose of this hand and for teaching, I, I might focus on other things rather than trying to force that like I might do on my own. All right. So with that said, if I wanted to keep those low end numbers and I want to try to keep the five one three five seven nine for just a bit, just to see what I get in on the first uh, right. I could pick my East to discard and I could pick my six. And of course there are some bits of runs here, but I'm gonna keep the low end runs because we can't keep every single thing here. So I'll go ahead and get rid of the six. And Phyllis, you pick the third one. I'm looking at the chat, waiting. Hi, Karen, welcome, and hi, who else is here? Uh, oh, Mary, um, sure, let me put that link in here for you. You go to that website, and on the bottom of the front page, fill that out, and you'll get added to the emails. All right, let's see. Hi, Carol. Welcome. All right. So Phyllis says three, four, five, six, and two suit. And oh, so Phyllis is saying keep the, the six BM. All right. So Phyllis is saying keep the six BM for three, four, five, six, which is very nice because that's also a part of an entire hand, which is the Pun Kong, Pun Kong second hand down. Okay, so that's great. All right, so Phyllis, what would you give up here? Would you keep and concentrate on all the run stuff and start just maybe getting rid of, because you know we've got uh, two, three, four. I mean, there's a lot in the it was one suit run here. We've got a lot of little pieces of runs between one and and six. So one BAM. Okay. I was just thinking that myself. So I think the one BAM, it's kind of disconnected from the other suits. So I think this might work right now. Um, and then let's see, what else do we want to do? If we want to keep 
the seven dot and nine dot, just in case we start getting in one, three, five, seven nines in those dots, we could keep that. Uh, I don't think we're gonna need the red. I could get rid of the red, uh, but I think I'm gonna do the nine, the nine crack. It could be either one. So I'll do the nine crack, but see Phyllis, that's why she's my assistant because she gets me straight sometimes, but yay, that's cool. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pass that. And now did I get anything else in? Well, I got in a four crack. <clears throat> Um, now, Joanna said, why keep the dragons? Well, uh, no particular reason. It's still early. They're probably going to get dumped at some point or another. I don't personally like to pass soaps during the Charleston because soaps play a dual role and they could be very welcomed if somebody is working on the 2023 section of the card. Uh, so in any event, we now have a uh, four crack. We don't have to make any decisions now. I see hands that the four crack can play into, certainly in the run family, but there's no reason right now to pressure myself to do that. I also now have an eight BAM. So I'm kind of getting a little he uh, heavier on the two, four, six, eight family. All right, I am going to get rid of the north, that is for sure. And now I even have one more number for like numbers, but it's still very, very weak. And by the way, if I were going to play like numbers, I like that second hand, even though it's concealed. And then I would need those dragons right there for that second hand under any like numbers. But it's a tough one because it is concealed, so I'm probably not going to do that. So, Phyllis, what would you say? Break up the seven and nine and then maybe the red? Phyllis is thinking about it. Uh, all right, well, let's see. Let's ask Barb. Barb, you've been playing since you're eight years old, and you got me beat in numbers. I'm little bit younger than you and I started in my 20s so what would you pick right now here let's see what another expert has to say and I don't see any response here I don't know if I lost Barb or not maybe Okay, maybe I did. Okay, so anyway, I guess I'll go ahead and I'll pick the the red and I'll pick the nine. All right. Okay, so yeah, I'm getting a lot more in the low end runs and it and the evens. So I think that is the wisest choice at this point. So let's go ahead and pass that. All right, here we go with another even in here. So let's see what we're gonna do here. Whew. Um, let me see, two, let's look at some of these two, four. We still have our two, four, six, eight. Uh, if we did, it's still too early really to make any strong decision about two, four, six, eight, but we've got a lot of good stuff in there forming. So anyway, I'm gonna get rid of the seven dot for sure. Now uh, we've got another <laughs> possibility with the three crack. So now we have more run stuff with the three crack, cause there is a hand, three, four, three, four, which is the third hand from the bottom here. Um, and that is another one of the very popular hands that seem to be played. I'm going to get rid of the West. So now I have one more choice. Phyllis, what would you like me to dump now? The five BAM? 
I mean, I, I have three, four, five, six now, even. I have so many bits of so many hands. So this is when it gets challenging. And this is why when you know the card, you could then play around with the different hands. Um, I have the most right now. Let's see, two, one, two, three. I don't have any ones, but I have the most toward three, four, three, four. And if I were to get a two crack in, uh, the fourth hand down would be nice. Two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, maybe I ought to just abandon the idea of the two, four, six, eight hand section. It is a little bit more challenging. It's got two less hands than it did last year, and it's got a lot of singles and pairs in it this year. Maybe I'll stick. What do you think, Phyllis? Do you see anything that's... I, I'm thinking... Uh, three, four, five, three, four. I'm almost thinking the six dot because it still would leave me possibilities with two, four, six, eight, and dots and bams. But what do you think? Let's see, I got some. I would get rid of the eight bam, is what Barb said. Oh, Barb, you, yeah, I lost you. Okay. I lost you before I was asking for your opinion. So, um, yeah, it's kind of like I, um, it's so either way, it, there's not a whole, whole lot. I was just thinking, I always try to think of every little bit that I could possibly have. And I was thinking two, four, six, eight and getting rid of the, uh, two, four, six, but then we might have two, four, six with fours. If we got more, I don't know. It's a, Phyllis, what do you think? What's your vote? Either the six dot or the eight BM. Or, but I also said I like two, three, one, two, two, three, four, five, six. So I think the eight BM. Barb, I'm going with the eight BM. Uh, this is just too, it's, it's amazing, but it's so much fun because it's so challenging. I mean, this stretches your brain to the max. All right, we're at a turning point here. We have to decide, do we continue or do we not continue? Big learning lesson for newer players. Don't stop the Charleston if you're confused. Stop the Charleston because you have one really strong hand that's forming and you don't have three tiles to pass. It's just kind of my rule of thumb. I think most experienced players do the same thing because you don't want to give up the opportunity of getting in a ton of more tiles, potentially 12 more tiles to look at and potentially 12 more to get out of your hand. Okay, so um, I'm going to continue. I'm going to get rid of the East right now. And now we have um, a seven dot that has come into play. And I say here, gee, I wish I had five cracks. I could do four, five, six, seven, and that would be looking very, very pretty. Uh, let's see. Um, yes, I agree. Barb said, and don't give an optional to anyone who stops the Charleston. Well, that is an absolute. We go, we go over that when we have that opportunity in the computer world. I do sometimes do it if I know I'm giving a really safe tile, but not in person. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, three, four, five, six. If we did get two cracks, that, that uh, fourth hand down, two, three, four, five, six pretty but we have a missing piece right now and it's a single and then the three crack is a pair so that's kind of risky so we need to keep our options open here all right what are we going to keep open so 
Uh, I mean, we've even, I'm not going to go to 369, 3456, uh, 3444. If we got five cracks, 4566 six could work. Uh, 4567, I don't even know if it would even make sense to do that. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. This is really, this is a challenging one because I can't keep it all. I'm going to do the seven dot and the two dot. I think that's, you know, oh, and by the way, the exercise room is great because when you do the Charleston practice, you could choose the same tiles again and see if you get to choose different passes to get different outcomes. It only gives you Charleston practice. So that's a cool thing. All right. I guess I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with this. I don't know. I could do, uh, no, this is second left. So there's no blind pass option here. All righty. So now I have a 6 p.m. Let's get this up there. And my God, I mean, I, I'm seeing three, six, nine as well, but I don't even want to go there. All right, let's look at this here. Uh, three, four, five, six, six. I mean, we're very weak on flowers for that second hand from the bottom, but that's always a possibility if we got um five cracks in but that's a pair so that's also pretty risky uh let's see what else could we do here with these sixes now of course like numbers is a possibility uh you know i hate to get rid of the three i mean i am looking at that three six six nine now seems to be coming in very nicely Six, six, nine, but not, no, I don't think I want to go there. All right, four, five, six, six, four, five, six, six, four, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got lots of run stuff going on still. I think I'm going to go with this. Of course, you know how this game goes, Barb, right? And Phyllis, whatever we give away, we're going to start getting those in, right? That. The way this game works. Okay. Um, Carol said I passed two seven dots, so there's two out there. Phyllis, did you are you aware of that? I don't remember that, Carol. Um, okay, anyway, I've got to make a choice here. Three, four, uh, four, uh, four dot. Maybe I'll do the four dot. What do you guys say? Oh, Barb said I give a four dot. Okay, I'm going to do the four dot. I mean, you know, it's one of those things you just have to make decisions. And so I've been watching. We've been getting one wind in with each pass, and I've been giving the wins. And now I got two in. And I do not love passing wins together. It's amazing how, and wins are very popular this year because there's a lot of pungs in that section and a lot of the hands are pretty easy to make. <clears throat> so people are tending to collect them. And even right now, if I say to myself, nobody collected them, I could hand those to somebody. So we're on the last right. I could potentially break it up if I want to. So let's see. Uh, three, did we get anything else in? Not really. So I could do these here. And I definitely do not want to give, I guess I've given up my idea of three, four, three, four. So I'm going to just have to hope something, I hate to give up the three though. I think I should take a chance with this or do a blind pass. I think maybe I'll do a blind pass. Why not? Just because I want to be a smart player and if I pass the two wins and this guy decided, Amistad decided to keep them, I could be making his 
hands a lot stronger. So I'll just go ahead and do two. All right, God, look at that. Oh, it would have been nice if that one crack was a two crack. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do two tiles because we don't want to pass a pair. I did, was able to hold on to that scope the whole time, but I will definitely escalate that as a discard. So I'm going to do two. And see what happens here. And I got an east back. Uh, and we also got that eight bam back uh, that we had passed. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of the soap. Two reasons. One is, again, because it has a, tool, a dual role. And two, because it has never been passed in the Charleston. And that means that it is a fresh tile. And I like to get rid of fresh tiles out of my hand, whether they're in my hand or a pick from the wall, so that I'm always getting the newest seen tiles out on the board because players are not ready to call or set up early on. Now, my volume is still not working in I Love Mosh, and I don't know what it is. So I had this issue last time. And I don't understand what is going on. Let me just try this. Nope. It is not working. So I don't think anybody did collect wins. But you guys are just going to have to watch the board because I I don't know. My, my sound's not working on I Love Maj. And this is going to have to do some troubleshooting on it. Oh. Look at how interesting this is. Our buddy Amistad has called a soap. Well, if I held on to the soap, I would have gotten a joker exchange. But that's not the smartest thing to do. But you see, we forced him into calling. He could have a ton of jokers, no doubt. But we did force him into calling because he panicked a little bit. And he saw there's a joke. Uh, a soap out on the table already. And right away, he's saying, well, I better call it. Or he has so many jokers that he can afford to do it. But that's an early, early call. And let me hope I get the other joker. All righty. So I'm going to now dump my wins just to be 100% sure that nobody is playing them. All right. There goes a three dot. I like to keep track of the things that I have in my hand and we'll just see what forms and what comes in and things change pretty rapidly and an eight bam went out and now we got another three. So we've got some good things happening here. We've got three, four with cracks and five, six with bam, second hand down under consecutive run. If we get a two crack, we could be doing a three, four, five, six, which is line number four. We have four, five, six in mixed suits right here in the middle. Four crack, five, bam, six dot. Fifth hand down on the right side. If we get in some uh, flowers and we'll just see what happens. Okay, so now I'm going to look to see what's not on the table. There's a seven crack on there already. This is just how I escalate my discard. Okay, some people say they like to repeat them. I say there's enough time to repeat them once you get out the freshest tile. So that's my choice. So I'm going to do the eight dot. There's a two crack, so there's my one opportunity for that other hand. And uh, there's no two BAMs out. And I think the eight BAM went around, came around, but there's one out already. Three dot is out already. Seven crack is out. Okay, so two BAM is my vote for getting out a tile. And during this part of the game, the first 33 tiles after the deal uh, is the begin game. So I, I look at it in three sections, begin, middle, and end. And in the beginning, unless you pick a tile that goes towards your hand, you just, 
you just quickly do your thing. There's no reason to think unless you get a tile in that you're going to keep, of course. But otherwise, you just pick and discard. You don't have to worry about what somebody's going to do or call or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and get the 8BM out, but I did get a 5 dot in. So I now have two ways for three, four, five, six with BMs or five and six with dots. And eh, it's not looking bad. I'd like to get a few more jokers though. <laughs> and there goes a second flower and there goes a five BM and another eight dot. So now I start repeating. Normally in a real game, because the tiles are scattered and discarded anywhere randomly, you won't be able to look and say, oh, that one was an early discard. We have an advantage on the computer. So I'll take a look and see what's the earlier one, and I'll start repeating that way. So I'm going to do the three dot. And there's another eight dot, and a three bam, and a four dot. And now we have a nine dot. That was an early on discard. So I'll go ahead and get rid of that one. Another one crack and a two bam. Okay. All righty. Uh, now we have a four bam. Is there any reason for me to keep that in my family of runs? And I don't think so at all. Unless, nope. Nope, no reason to keep it. And it's not out. That means it's more reason for me to get rid of it. And by the way, if anybody ever has any questions about anything, you are feel free to reach out to me at, uh, I'll give you my website. I mean, my uh, email, I have a few of them, but I'll give you this one. Feel free, if you ever have a question that you don't want to ask online, you can send me an email. Okay, so let's see here. Six Crack came in. It sounds fresh to me. Usually, I'm pretty good about remembering what I hear going out here, but I'm seeing <laughs> rather than hearing this time. So we'll do the Six Crack. Because I do not think that this is going to do me any good. All right. Another eight dot. So now we'll talk about that fourth eight dot that's in my hand, which uh, could be a very safe tile as opposed to a fresh or dangerous tile. We'll ignore that. And we now have another seven. Now we have our first seven dot. Okay. So the eight dot came in and there are three on the table. So that would be the tile that I would discard last if I had to make a choice about others that are not yet on the table. You can assume it's fairly safe, but there are a lot of hands this year that there, you know, could maybe be dangerous still, but I think the eight dot is one of those that uh, is not, except for, nope, there's three out, so we don't even have to worry about singles and pairs. So the eight dot, to me, unless somebody is playing a hand and filling in for the eight with a ton of jokers, I have to make the assessment that it's fairly safe. So now I'll go ahead and get rid of, let's see, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven. Oh my God, we have so many, so many possibilities, but I'm hoping that we start to get more. Okay, so I'll get rid of, let's see, we said the seven dot was not out, right? Okay. All right, so there's the proof in the pudding, so to speak. That's why you get out tiles early, because you want somebody to call it rather than to call Mahjong. And if you were to hold tiles that you think are not on the table and you're nervous about throwing it, be nervous later on when you get toward the end game, which is the last 33 tiles. 
So we're now in the middle game. We're going to pay more attention, but we're still not going to worry too much about what we throw as far as giving Mahjong and really playing on high defense. All right, we get rid of uh, no there. Oh, I got a joker. Isn't that so much fun? All right, so now our next tile that we're going to get rid of is the seven crack, and that was discarded early on. And so I'm going to get rid of that. I don't know if Kurt's playing like numbers, any like numbers, but it's one of the many possibilities. Amistad here uh, with the three dragons, uh, there are the three soaps. You know, it could be line three of 2023. Uh, it could be line three of winds and dragons. It could be line four or line six of 369. Hard to tell right now, uh, but we don't have to worry too much. And we're going to get rid of the seven crack. And there's a green, and the green is a fresh tile. And I believe, was it the green or red? Oh, my God, I usually remember. Green or red, Phyllis, that I had. Barb, you remember, or did you get booted out at that time? Put it in chat if you remember. But nonetheless, I'm getting it out. It doesn't matter because it's not on the board. Amistad could be playing a hand with dragons. There's several that have multiple. I'm getting it out. Barb says, don't remember. Don't worry. I don't remember that one either. I think it was. Oh, God, I usually am so good about that. All right. Nobody called it. That's a good thing. Maybe Amistad had to use all his jokers up. There goes the second two crack for my thought of that two, three, four, five, and six. And there's a red getting it out right away. Oh, and there we have it. All right. So now we know. That Amistad's playing one of two hands. No, three hands. Sorry. Line three of 2023. Line three of Winds and Dragons on the right or east side. Uh, with one, two, Norse out and one, two, South out. I want to say that he's either got a I don't want to say that word, but a lot of, well, crap load is better than the other one I was going to say. Um, but he could also be playing the second from, I'm sorry, line four under 369. So uh, we, we could, he'd have to be using BAMs for the 369. You could get really advanced at this and take a look. And you know what? There are no threes. There, I have two six bams, but there are there's one three bam right here. There's no nine bams on the table. We could kind of make an educated guess, but that means I might not want to get rid of my six bams. Oh my goodness. So if I have a decision to make, I'm hoping I could keep it in case that's what he's playing. All right, now I'm going to ignore this. And there's a third south on the table. How many east and west are there? One, two, two east and one, two west. I don't, I, I'm thinking he could be playing that three, six, nine. All right, let's go on. I can't worry about him. That's for sure. Uh, I'm still going to hold on to my these tiles here, but I do have to worry a little bit about the five dot. There's no five dots out. So that means I might be making a decision very soon about whether or not I'm going to pick one hand or not. And okay, there's a lot of wins out and it is looking like that east and west or north and south hand number three is not being played. 
Oh, okay. What is Kurt playing with the eight cracks up there? All right, well, let's figure it out. Uh, it could be, uh, let's see, seven, so eight, eight crack and seven dots, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it could be only the second line on the right side under consecutive run. Six dot, seven dot, eight crack and nine crack. So with two exposures up, we've got him pegged, which means that, guess what? That means, take a look at what I got sitting in my hand. Now, I could hope for a joker. I was a little concerned about the five dot anyway. Well, there's one out really early, but I could definitely um, grab a joker. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on the next turn, break up those six dots. And I think I'm going to, um, well, maybe I should do it now. So we've got those jokers are going to go somewhere in there. I can call the three crack here. And I'm weak on the five bam. Four crack needs another something to cover. Five bam and six bam. They're, you know, a little weak there. I need a good pick or so. But I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. Now, look, if he calls Mahjong, well, be it he calls Mahjong. But I think there could be a chance I might be able to grab a joker. So let's do that on the next uh, time I have to discard. So we're going to ignore this. And I'm going to do it because I'm close to now the end wall. 33 tiles, end game. All right, here we go. Let's grab a joker. Oh, my goodness. Am I missing something that... He could be playing? I don't think so. Oh, man, that's a bummer. Because then I'm torn between getting rid of this six dot right away. There goes the third two crack for my hopes of that other hand. Uh, ignore. And I have to get rid of that five dot, too. So um, I'm going to do that as well. All right, let's see. Oh, we've got a flower with a joker, and I haven't seen a flower this entire game. Wow. All right, there goes a six bam. Now, we are now in the last wall. My hand hasn't had a lot of movement, so I'm going to call this to see if I could shake things up a little bit. And commit to three crack, four crack, five BM, and six BM. And especially since we need four of the six BMs, I don't want to let it go right now. So I think I'm going to commit to it. Phyllis is going to agree, right? Oh, yeah. Phyllis is a caller. So, but this in this case, yeah. Um, uh, okay, I think it's his hand, but he can't call. Uh, yeah, I'll get rid of the six. Yeah, I'll get rid of it for sure. I'm also a little concerned about that five dot for some reason, but more the six is more important. Okay, so I'm calling a Kong. We are working on consecutive run, line number two on the right side. Kong it is, four tiles. All right, here we go on that next six dot. If he puts up a joker now, I'm going to crop. Oh, my God. Oh, by the way, looking at this here, we now know that um, we've got flowers with the dragons. Uh, so that is line number. What line is that? What hand is that? Uh, oh, oh. Right, that's the hand I had mentioned in the beginning when we were going through the possibilities, but I kind of got out of my sight, line three of 2023. Whoa. Oh, I want to just take a quick look at the board because I want to see if I could guess what 
number he's playing, what suit he's playing with. There's one, two, three dots, two, three dots out. There's one, two, three, four, two dots out. So he's not playing with dots. Okay, let's see, cracks. We've got one, two, crack. Three of those, if I recall, went out. One, two, and three. So it could be a two crack. Let's see, three cracks. Uh, no three cracks are on the board, unless I'm missing it. Okay, yeah. Okay, he could be playing um, with three, with cracks. Two, zero, two, three, within the cracks. Um, there's one more soap available. If it were to go on the table, that hand would be a dead hand. And here's where you call someone's hand dead, right here. Uh, all right, so now what about BAMs? BAMs are one here, one, two, two, two BAMs, and three BAMs, one, two, three BAMs. So he's playing with cracks or BAMs, and I have three cracks, so he ain't getting those. <laughs> oh, somebody took a joker. Oh, now I'm very happy about that. Okay, now we have a one dot. And there are one, there's one, one, two, one dots on the table. Five dots are no, what do we say? One here. So five dot to me has to go out sooner than the one dot. They're, I don't know what Annie's doing, but here we go. Ah, there you go. Boy, I'll tell you, if you understand really the mechanics of this game, you can predict so much. It's crazy. All right, North, we don't need it. I need, oh, I'm calling that baby for a pung. All righty, here we go. Now I just need to be able to get a joker swap from somebody. Uh, are there any other six bams out? No, there's one of mine available. And one five dot still available. And of course, one soap is available, which if I got it would make him a dead player, a dead hand, not a dead player. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll go with the um, with the one here. I think we're good now with uh, hopefully I won't pick a hot hot tile because now we're in that final, third of the game, this is when we got to pay attention and we'll make decisions depending on what we get. All righty, I think that's for, I don't need it, but all right. I just need one more good pick to be kind of in a nice position all around. Uh, there's a green, we can get that baby out. All right, so. Oh, ooh, six dot, uh, one, two, two are out. Okay, I mean, hey, it's, I still want to try and win. So I'm going to get it out because it's not like there are none out there. I don't have to like freak out about it. Oh, oh, right. We, we did say that, that he needed the six. I forgot already. So, but that's a good thing. We've got a call, not a Mahjong. So, and I would not have broken up my hand at this point because I still have a chance of winning. So what I do is I take the number of tiles left, divide it by four, and that will tell me how many picks I have left. You have to kind of figure out the probability of whether you can win the game based on the number of picks or being able to call discards. I still have a decent chance, but Nonetheless, I'm going to be on high alert right now from now on. Uh, wow. Okay. Now, four BAMs. Are there any out? One, two, three. This is the fourth one. I feel comfortable. Even if somebody has a ton of jokers and they're using it, I still am doing an okay thing by getting it out. 
Oh, um, Barb said, isn't he dead because he can't get three twos? Uh, the third hand down, he needs two twos. And I think, didn't we decide there were two available for cracks? Two crack, one, two, three. Okay, there's three twos out, so he can't be playing cracks. Bams, one, two. Uh, Bams and dots, he can't be playing dots. So now it's Bams after this third one. So he's playing with, am I looking at it right? Okay, I think he's playing with Bams. Anybody want to verify it for me? Because I'll call him dead. If you think he's dead, Barb or Phyllis, just verify that there are still two, two BAMs available and at least one three BAM. Yes. Okay. My hubby confirms. All right. So now there goes a five BAM and I can't call it. <laughs> Boo-hoo. Ah, oh, three BAM. There it is. Oh, ooh, three BAM. There's two on the table. Ah, oh, okay. So this is when you have to really think a lot about whether you're going to break it up or not. Carol also confirmed. Uh, She's watching from YouTube that it was BM. Thank you, Carol. Um, I'm sorry. I'm like sometimes so focused that I don't get to look to my right on my many screens here. Um, okay. Now. Um, oh, I just realized that. Linda said, why didn't I call the 5 BM? Did you guys re all realize that I let the 5 BM go? Phyllis says, I don't know. Okay, I should have called the five BAM. Now, I messed up on that. I definitely did. And Randy, my husband, said the same thing. I don't know. I was thinking it was four that I needed there. Do I call, do I dis discard the three BAM or not? Let's talk about that right now. I have four picks left in the wall. Four picks left. Do I take a chance and discard this? Now, if you play in person and you're playing for money, uh, they may have a table rule where you have to pay for everybody if you throw into three discards. Uh, Linda, again, I don't know why I didn't call that by BM. I'm not going to beat myself up over it, but I honestly thought it was a con. Um, now, yes, I could throw the eight dot. And that's a good question. Somebody said, why don't I just throw the eight dot? I could call the eight dot. But if I want to win, I should call, I should throw the three BM now. If I'm going to play defensively, then I have to decide that I want to break it up. So this is when I get kind of a vote. So Carol and Linda, Barb and Phyllis and Randy, let's have a vote. Throw it or not. The worst that's going to happen is Amistad is going to Mahjong. Or he already has the three BAM and he needs a two BAM. Throw. Randy says throw. Joanna says no. Uh, Linda, what do you think? Take a chance with the three BAM. Uh, Shirley says throw. All right, I'm going to take a chance. Now, in real life, I wouldn't, in person, I would not do this. Just so you know, I want to make sure you understand. In real life, I would not do this because I know. Oh, Carol, Linda says go for it. Carol says not, but the, the throws went out. Okay. If I threw this and had to pay for the table playing in my game, my friends would also be saying, you knew what he needed. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I didn't call that five BAM. Maybe I'll have another chance. All right, here we go. Everybody hold their breath. There we go. All right. 
Well, look, it's all a fun thing and you don't have to worry about it when you're on the computer. But I also, I always want to make sure that I let you know exactly why you should not do it in person because you were throwing to three exposures and we knew exactly what the player needed. Now, if I had called that by BAM, it would have changed probably the picking up and maybe I would have had a chance. So, oh, well, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so we're good there. We, um, you know, we got close. We had really crappy nothing to begin with. And you see how things start to, to form and come into uh, a real hand here, which is nice. Uh, line number one, Annie was playing uh, one, three, five, seven, nine with no three cracks because I had them. If I knew what she was playing, and I think there was one on the table, um, let's see. She, we could have called her dead. Yeah. Oh, no, there was one remaining. So, no, she would have been not dead because that would be a pun. So she wouldn't have been dead, but she had no three cracks at all. So she wasn't even close. And then Kurt was playing line two, six, seven, eight, nine. And that is the Pung Kong, Pung Kong, the same configuration that we were playing with different numbers and suits. All right, let's start again. All right, sort my tiles by suit. And I'll move this baby down. Will you get out of the way? I'll move this baby down here. And as I mentioned earlier, I like to start building off of my pairs. And I do have a pair of flowers and I have a pair of six dots. And so I need to build off of that. So I would think, well, what goes with six dots? Of course, even, they're even. So maybe I pull this over and see, and I'm gonna put my dragons down here for a minute because I keep them on the right. Uh, and then I would think, what else could I possibly do? Any like numbers, but with sixes, I don't have any more sixes right now. Um, Phyllis said, too bad I don't have the soap. I know, that would be nice. And let's see, uh, two, four, six, eight, maybe like numbers. Um, uh, I'm not going to go for Quince because I like to have at least two or three jokers um, for sure. I know a lot of people love to try it even when they don't have a lot of jokers, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to me to do that. Now, what else could we build off of that? We could do keep an eye on 369, um, which would be uh, the second hand from the bottom. Would it be nice for 369? And uh, with soaps, but then we couldn't use our flowers for that hand, but oh, could be a lot of hands right now. All right. I'm not going to keep the West because I don't have other wins and I don't really have anything that's really popping out at me right now that would make me want to keep it. I feel like the ones are kind of not connected to like numbers with sixes or two, four, six, eight, or even a run. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. Now, some people don't like to pass this um, like numbers together. I don't personally care about passing like numbers. I feel like you could say for any tile, you could come up with some reason why you shouldn't pass it. But what are the odds that Amistad is playing with those numbers when there's an option of any like numbers all the way up to nine. Maybe he's playing one, three, five, seven, nine. Okay, I can't worry about it, what he's playing. I want to worry about my hand right now while I'm building. All right, so we got a six dot in. That's, that's nice to have that. Now we got a one BAM in and we gave a one BAM out. So, you know, it concerns me a little bit, but uh, I don't know that I'm going to be able to, you know, do much here. Um, now, flowers, we do have the second hand, which is a mixed suit 369.
Oh, <laughs> Barbara says, that's cute. That's so cute, Barb. And I know because Michelle and I were partners. So um, I know her style. We agreed on almost, I'd say 95% of our teaching styles are very similar. But that was the one thing. And when I would play with her, um, I would say, okay, Michelle, just close your eyes and don't look because Michelle does not pass like numbers together. I don't care. I got enough other things that I think are more important for me to worry about, but that's okay because everybody's got their own choice, right? All right, so 369 is looking good. <clears throat> um, uh, 2468. So, so, so weak here. Uh, I think, you know, do I want to keep those dragons for any reason at all? I guess I'm not going to keep them. Although if I ended up getting more dragons and sixes, I'll beat myself up because I didn't keep it. Right, Phyllis? <laughs> uh, line 4369. Oh, with the one suit. Yeah, I don't need the two and I don't. Uh, and I, I mean, I don't need the three sixes, but that would be nice too. Yeah, <clears throat> I think there's a good amount of reasons to keep those dragons. So now the question becomes, do I try to hold on to this and not pass it because I've already passed one and pass this, which is also a beautiful path. I mean, it's a beautiful path, but I always say to my friends in person, you're going to love this path. And then they pick it up and they say, oh, yeah, great. If I could use it or, you know, you miss me all around. But, <clears throat> you know, uh, all right. So here we go. I think. Uh, I don't know. I'm torn now about the nine. I'm kind of torn about the nine because of the mixed suit possibility. All right. I think I'm going to give up a, a uh, what the, what might be, see that fourth hand down in three, six, nine requires, I need three pairs. I got one, but I have to give up the six. So to me, it's not quite as strong. Um, all right. Anybody want to give me any help? And somebody said pass the one bam, but I already shot a one bam out. So somebody could end up with it. All right. Well, let's see. Now I passed it to the right. Let's see what happens if we get it back, if I do get rid of it. Uh, wow. I got a little bit more of all these three, six, nine things going on, but I don't need to keep them all. Uh, blah, 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 five dot. Okay, let's see. Now, if we were to make the best decision for three, six, nine, let's take a look and see. The only hand that uses flowers that makes sense to me right now is the second hand down. Uh, which I'm kind of bummed about, but because everything else I have one of, but there's a lot of options for the three, six, uh, nine. Let's see. I don't think we need the three. Um, yeah, I see the fourth. Oh, Randy said fourth hand down. Yeah. I see the fourth hand down, uh, but that one, that was the one I just mentioned about needing the all the pairs for it, but it's a good, it would be great. If I started getting in those pairs, it would be fabulous. Um, all right, so we're gonna get rid of the five and I think we could get rid of, I wanna keep my eye on a mixed suit possibility. I'd have to get rid of it. I'd have to keep that and I think I'm going to give up on the idea of second from the bottom because there's no flowers in that hand. I think I'm going to get rid of the nine bam, 
We're on the first left, so I can do a blind path here, hoping I get something in that gives me some clue. Uh, yeah, yeah, the mixed suit. See, if I get rid of the nine, I then I'm like three, six, nine. If I get rid of the nine, then I ha I'm giving up the opportunity of that mixed suit. So let me think, let me three, rethink that one. Carol was reminding me on that. Uh, let's see. What one of these could I do? I want to do one more because one tile is not going to give me enough option to get in something. Three, six, nine. I want to keep these. All right. I don't know. Three crack. Now, if I do the three crack, then look, I don't have that mixed suit option, although I wouldn't need this. But three, six, nine. Uh, Okay, I don't know. I'm going to do a blind Carol, but I don't know whether to get rid of. I think I'm going to keep this, but I think I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, I'm so torn. Well, I don't want to get rid of this because I like like numbers there. I'm going to do this one. Okay, I mean, it could be totally wrong, but I have to continue. Of course, I have tiles to pass. I can't just say... It's a mishmash and I don't want to continue. I have to continue. All right, so eight dot and one dot. Yay. Now I had no clarity. None whatsoever. And I do think that like numbers is a possibility with sixes. I mean, I'm not there, but it's a possibility. Okay, give me a vote. Third tile. Help me out, you guys. Randy had said line, it said three, but you know, this is a no gap hand right here. No gaps right there. Flower three, six, nine. You know, the smart thing is not to give up on a potential that was the second hand under three, six, nine. That's a no gap hand. Yes, I would love to have the fourth hand come in, but I need a pair of threes, a pair of nines if I go with the sixes. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Red or green? The vote is red or green. And Karen said red. Okay. Hi, Hannah. Hannah just joined us. Uh Hannah, any thoughts on this hand? Hannah's been taking strategy lessons with me for like several months. I think since the end of 2022, Hannah. All right. I, Hannah, I, what? Say red. I say red. Okay, so that's three votes on red, and I agree. That would be my choice as well. All right, goodbye, red. <laughs> Oh, did I get anything in? No, I didn't. And we're seeing wins now. But I am not going to care about that. I'm doing that because we haven't seen many wins. I don't know what's going on with them. We just got another wind. So hopefully Annie's not even playing with them because I just gave her a wet. Uh, here we go. I got... If you know Yiddish, anybody, I got bupkis, all right? Okay, here we go. I am going to get rid of all of those. And we got a north and a south. It looks like either somebody was trying to play them and gave up on them or whatever, but that's my feeling. All right, we got nothing. I'm going to give three away, I think, or should I do two in case any... Held on. No, Annie probably gave that. I'm going to do three. I'm going to take that chance. Because I'll, uh, 
he gave me a north and a west. So and an eight. Oh my goodness, look at that. Like that's almost an identical path in that optional. Wow. All right. Well, here we go. We got a so. And everybody's going to probably dump their wins right now. All righty. And I remember a four going around. I'm pretty sure nobody's um, saving them, but I'll get rid of them. Because, again, there, you never can be too sure. But we do have that news hand, fourth hand concealed, 2023 hand. And we, what other ones? We've got, uh, that's the only, and we got a single in Winds and Dragons and a pair. So kind of. Still good idea to get Winds and Dragons out early. <clears throat> All right, we just need some lucky picks, right? Sure we do. Okay, I'll get the West out, and then we'll start prioritizing our discards. There goes the second two crack. And a seven crack. I don't think I'm going to keep that for any reason. There goes one of the one BMs unless it's a fresh pick from the wall. Okay, there goes another two crack. Now, I have two two cracks in my hand, so uh, chances are um, either somebody needs them and they're just not ready, but I'll hold them because that makes them pretty safe tiles, or I could set myself up for joker bait if somebody needs it. So I will hold on to those for a while. I like to start breaking up my pairs before I go into the uh, end game, which is the last 33 tiles. So I kind of wait and see what's happening to identify how urgent it is to get me get those out. Um, you know, I just too bad if that, uh, okay, there's no four dots out. I don't see anything. I mean, I do see two, four, six, eight, like popping out at me, but I think it's kind of too late now to switch gears. So I'm just going to stay the course. Another soap. Smart, though, getting them out early. Those smart bots. All righty. Oh, we have a nine crack. Is there any reason we should hold that nine crack for right now? Three, six, six, nine. No. Um. I don't think so. Um, I could hold it for just a little bit. I also do not think we're going to end up playing with any dragons unless. No, I don't think so. so I'm going to go ahead and dump that dragon. Because I don't think I'm going to. I mean, I'm going to try to work with these flowers. So I will do that. And Carol said, I have a lot of tiles towards like numbers. Look at, I got a joker. And I do have a lot of tiles towards like numbers, but I but it is a gap pan, so I don't have all elements of it. So I have to consider that as well. All right, we'll go ahead and get out the eight, even though it's out there ready. And I don't, or the nine, because I don't think we're going to need this at all. So I guess I'll do that. Or crack, I don't need. And we certainly don't need the East. Nobody's playing wins, I don't think. And let me just see how many Wests. One, two. I'll be able to be safe when four of one of the wins goes out. And then I could be like, definitely not. Well, here's another one. And... Hmm. I know that went out already, and the eight crack went out early, so I guess I can get that one out right now. Let me put this here. I don't want to accidentally get rid of it. There goes a six. I keep that in my brain right now. Too early to make any commitment to any hand at all, so I just have to accept it. There goes a second one. All right, not bad. All right, now I can get rid of the four BM. You know, and if I were playing like numbers, since we need a pair in there, I would want to protect the pair. So, um, you know, even if 
another six one out at this point, I'd let it go because I would not want to compromise the, the pair. So I would have to hope to get six cracks into my hand. And honestly, I would only I only need two good picks to make that like number is a good option. Now, see, I'm not going to call that at all. And that's the deal right there. So I'm just going to hit ignore. Three, six, nine. And that mixed suit three, six, nine is not looking very happy, but we're ignoring this. Um, uh, because I would either have to give up if I call this, then I'm very weak for my six crack. If I get one six crack, in then i can call it so i think that's going to be my decision here is just to let this one go oh look at that all right now i'll break up because now we're going to look at either three six um three six nine there's a no gap possibility or like numbers with sixes and that way, the 369 is the second hand from the bottom. I mean, we need, we need like three good picks for that one. So let's go ahead and get rid of the two crack and just see what happens. Maybe I'll get someone to call it. Darn. <laughs> but now we got a really safe tile. Although, is there, yeah. Uh, except for singles and pairs, could be a singles and pairs. So nothing is, there's hardly anything that's safe on this card. All right, give me a good pick. Oh, darn. All right, well, I don't need it, so I'll get rid of it. Three, nope. Ah, uh, man. Come on, give me a good pick. Oh, I don't need that either. Oh, three, six, nine. I don't need that. I think I even passed it. There's one out. Yeah, I don't need it. Here goes another one. And the one dot, man, I remember passing that in the Charleston for sure. So somebody's going to call it my prediction. Nope. My prediction was wrong. Oh, another nine crack. Wow. So now we've got one, two, three. This is the fourth one. I'll do the two. And that will uh, get, give one, two, three. That'll be the fourth one for that one. So here goes a nine. Bam. Another nine dot. Ah, okay. All righty. So let's talk about <clears throat> both of the hands and see like numbers. I could call the six dot, not out. I could call the flower, and I need one more good pick to cover the six cracks. Now, so that's one more good pick. So let's think that through. And then for the three, six, nine, a lot weaker. I could call the three crack. I could call the flower. But I need, no, not really. I could call, I need one more good pick for the nine. Actually, they're even. So now the question becomes, which hand makes more sense? Oh, we can analyze that one to death. Okay, so how do you figure out which way do you go? Um, my, my, my gut feeling is the like numbers. Uh, when did I let a three crack go? 
Oh, I mean, I didn't call it. Is that what you're saying, Phyllis? Oh, I didn't call it. Right. Right. Because it was too early on. So that makes that three crack, you know, even weaker since I didn't call and wasn't ready to commit at that point. And so this hand here, like numbers to me, might be the smartest of them all. Is there anything else that I could keep in place as a backup? We're in the we're in the end game right now. Three, six. Mm, I don't think so. Everybody think that's good choice here to go with like numbers because I really only need one good pick of a another joker or somebody will have a field day if I call the six crack with all the jokers, but I think that's it. I have to do it. Unless somebody sees some other miracle, I'll wait and look and see if you guys give me any clues. My husband says like numbers. Phyllis, what do you say? Like numbers? No? What would you do? Three, six, nine? Yeah. So you would do this one? Right here? Yeah. Ooh. Hannah. Let's see, Hannah. My prize student, what do you think? Uh, I tend to go with Phyllis, but I, I don't feel confident. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, here's the deal, too. If I were to keep 369 in place and keep the sixes in place, I could still get rid of the nine crack right now and not have to worry, right? So... And Carol says, toss the nine crack. Yeah. So I think that this is going to be my discard. Oh, my goodness. Four BMs, uh, one, two out. Sometimes I get a feeling like everybody's playing the same tiles or something when there's no calls like this. All right, four cracks. I know I oh, they, a lot went out. Now, I'll tell you what worries me a little bit is the nine B. No, there's two nine BMs out. That doesn't worry me that much. Oh, look at that. Oh. All right, look at that. You like that, Phyllis? Phyllis likes that one. All right. Uh, I have to go with this now. I mean, I have I have to. Okay, we're doing it. That's the second hand down on the right hand side, the mixed suit 369. Three Kongs and a pair. And we are gonna do it right now. We're committed. 18 tiles left. Somebody else is playing with my tiles for sure. Uh, the green, there's two greens out. I have the third. Rule of thumb is if you can account for three, it's okay. There's no exposures out. Somebody could need it for Mahjong, but I want to try and win. Nobody called it. Uh, so we have a two-dot call. And we got a joker, so we'll put that one here. Now, six BMs. Two are out, and I have two. Let's see if somebody calls it and puts it up with a joker, and I can grab some joker bait. Oh, we're starting to dump jokers, so people are playing defensively already, and I only have a few picks left. Ooh, and I think I just picked a hot, hot, hot tile. Let's look. I don't see any three dots out there. My, uh, let's see if we could predict what he's playing. 
two three two three and two suits maybe uh, could be could he be playing two three four five two three four five in mixed suits in two suits or one suit there is no five dots out there's one four dot if I'm scanning and looking the right way he's playing something in those dots all right that means that three dot is hot do I have a chance of winning with nine tiles left I have two picks left I don't think so anyway I will get rid of the uh, six bam and uh, that's the fourth one. So I don't think Kurt's playing with it. I'm going to do that just to see what happens here with additional picks. Joker, everybody's breaking their hand up. All right. So we just had um, Annie and Kurt through Jokers. Not a guarantee that they broke their hand up. Good possibility that they did. I cannot win. I need to play smartly here as much as I want to make Mahjong. And the hand came in very nicely. I'm going to go ahead and play defensively because that's really what you're supposed to do. So I'll do that because I can't win. If I thought I could, I'd take a chance. So you guys could see how it could possibly work out. I'm going to start dumping my jokers. Another, everybody's throwing jokers. So everybody's doing uh, breaking up their hands, right? And here's my last discard. And then we could see what everybody is playing. All righty. Uh, let's see. He was playing. Oh, wow. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Quince. Oh, no, six, seven, Quince. What? Oh, he broke his hand up. It says it right there. He threw probably three jokers, I bet. All right. And then two, three, four, five. Well, we kind of figured that out. And he broke up his hand as well. So his hand was probably coming in nice because everybody threw at least a couple of jokers. And then Amistad was playing line two of one, three, five, seven, nine. Um, broke up his hand as well. Didn't look like he was coming in too good, though, to be honest. No, I mean, everybody was kind of like almost even Steven with how close they were. Uh, I just wonder with um, with uh, Annie here, with the quince, what her chances would have been. Six cracks and seven dots. Six cracks. And seven dots. Hmm. I I discarded two jokers. So there were one, two, three, four, five. So he was in a very good position, but Kurt had the six dot and seven dot. So Kurt knew that those were hot tiles and didn't throw them. So he couldn't have, you know, chances are he wouldn't have made that. But wow. Wow. All right. Nice. Nice. Okay. Well, that was fun. Oh, another hand without jokers. I don't like that. I'm whining. I'm not supposed to whine. <clears throat> I teach about not whining and look at me. All right, let's work on our pairs and see what we have. We have ones and twos. The start of a little baby run of some sort here. I mean... Not a lot. Let's see what else we have in in the uh, evens and odds. We have a good amount in two, four, six, eight. We have some, you know, possibility could happen with like numbers. I think for me, um, I would probably hang on to those dragons. I always hang on to them for a little bit because you just don't know if you're going to need them in the, in the beginning. Now, if I pass that seven dot, nine crack and nine bam, it is really a beautiful pass. 
I have no jokers. Maybe I'll go for singles and pairs here. Two, four, six, eight. I've been trying that. I've been, I think I, oh, I won it the other night on my own here playing the two, four, six, eight one. I feel like if I'm not getting jokers, I try for the singles and pairs because they're just baby bits of the big hand. So if they don't work out, you just switch out. So I'm going to give a very beautiful path to Amistad. And I'm going to tell Amistad great path. And Amistad's not going to tell me whether he's playing with those tiles. Mm -hmm. All right. I got a one dot and a two crack in. Well, somebody is trying to tell me something, right? What I don't love about this option here is that I don't have a big variety of with the run. I'm kind of stuck in that one and two thing. So there's things that I could do. One's one dot, two dot, and one crack, two cracks, or one, two, three, and mix suit. Um, you know, not not a lot, a lot, a lot of good stuff that I could do with these with these tiles. But they, I mean, it's nice. I love having two puns. If anybody sees anything else that I'm missing, let me know. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. Um, I'll keep the six and eight. Bam. My thought process, even though I have three one dots, if I were to get four cracks in. Maybe two, four, six, eight might be a backup hand. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, two suit, two, four, six, eight. I don't know. But I know I'm going to dump this. There goes my like numbers. And I think I'll get rid of the eight. Anybody see anything else? You know, you could all like raise your hands and do this to me and like be like, no, 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 don't do that. Or you can unmute yourself and scream at me. We're not a huge crowd. It's nice and intimate. All right, I'm doing this. Annie, what? Why are you getting, why are you getting rid of the four cracks? Because you just said that you might want to go two, four, six, eight. With cracks. Oh, okay. So... The, I'm not getting rid of four cracks. I'm getting rid of four dots. Sorry, no, I mean, I mean, bam, sorry. Right. Why are you getting, you because, just said do Okay, so the reason is, is I'm not going to that whole section and deciding I'm going to stick with two, four, six, eight. I'm not doing that. What I do is I always think of an easy hand to have as a backup. So the easy hands, are always the ones that have two pungs and two cogs. So if I were to get in four cracks, if you look on the third line right side, then I would have you know, a no gap hand with two crack, four cracks, six and eight, bam. It's just a backup and it's weak, I admit, but it's my choice right now because I don't wanna give up these uh, dragons quite yet. Um, even if I kept one four, it's not going to really be something that I think is going to help me out. So I'm probably going to break up the, the past the green at some point soon. So this is what I'm doing. That's why I'm doing it. Ah, oh, look at this. Another one. Wow. And a six. Oh, I'm telling you. I think that this is rigged and it plans on making it challenging for me on Wednesday night. I really do. Okay. Oh, what do I do here? I cannot pass. I have a first left. So I have a little bit of a reprieve here. So I can do two and pray that I get some clarity. I mean, this is really a great one, two, three mixed suit but I have no flowers I don't have any threes two four six eight is certainly the easier hand that's a hard thing to do is to decide to go that way and then dump um the ones you know dump the ones I've done that before I have actually switched gears and dumped Four ones, and I actually say to myself, "Well, they're all safe. <laughs> My, you know, it's not such a bad position to be in." All right, here we go. 
Uh, I got no clarity. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue. Now, uh, are you, Debbie, are you too far from the top line? I mean, the bottom line of Quint? Uh, or, or the top line or the bottom? Well, the bottom line, I'm not too far if I were to get some flowers and jokers. And, and that would be nice, but I'd have to commit to that and just try it and go for it, you know, and just say, I'm doing it. If I, um, let's get rid of these for now, just to, so we can look at this. If I decided that I needed to go with an easier option, of course, this 2468 mixed to uh, two suit is it's smarter uh, than me committing to one, two, three and having to get another whole set that I'm missing. I'm, I have two gaps here. I have a pair of flowers missing and I have the threes missing. Um, if I get rid of the one dot, I may get it back. If other things come in that give me more clarity, I could always call the one dot because somebody's going to discard it. Or I could break my rule and get rid of the soap. Not that it's a, that's not a firm rule with me. Okay. I try not to. My firm rules are no flowers passed in, in the Charleston, no pears. Those are the two firmest that I could possibly adhere to. In this particular case, maybe I do this, and I this is the time to make the exception. All right, now one plus one equals two is another option that Joanna said. It is. I'm in the same position as I am with flowers one, two, three, missing a whole a whole Kong and missing the flowers. But you're right, Joanna, it is definitely another great option. And by the way, I have made a lot. I mean, I do the dot thing. I have not made an addition hand yet. I don't know whether it's, I don't, I don't love the hands that have the three Kongs, but I play them all if I get the tiles. All right, I'm doing this. I'm breaking my rule. <sighs> nothing came in, but I still have three tiles. I can actually, oh, wait a minute. I did get something in. Hold on. I sometimes go way too quick and make decisions too quickly. All right. So I did get, now I have one gap in that one, two, three. Now I have a, a must across. So. All right. I kind of get I kind of feel like this gave me more clarity and I might as well go for it. What do I have to lose? I can keep my hands on, like Hannah said, the Quint one as well. If I miraculously get a ton of jokers, why not? It, it'd be fun. I mean, I know I would need at least two jokers for that and I certainly need flowers, but why not? It'd be fun. OK. I'm going to give up on that two, four, six, eight, since I got the three in. That was what made me decide. Yeah, Linda, I know. I almost missed that whole thing. Okay, so I'll get, get rid of the eight, and we'll go past. Now, if we were in a different spot in the Charleston, I would break up the six BMs in fear that I'd have to be stuck passing a six BM, you know, passing a pair. So you have to really think a lot about where you are since my next path, I can do a blind path. If I got in great tile and I had to, I could break these up. So that's my thinking there. And now I have a uh, three tiles and I can get rid of them all. I'm not going to worry about trying to keep any of these. What a hoot. What a hoot. One plus one equals two. 
The addition hands one plus one equals two, maybe. Uh, I could do three here, uh, but I still don't want to pass those sixes because, uh, although I did get in one six, so it's not totally new. I could break it up. Look, I just got a one in, and I could get in another tile that I need. So I think I'm going to pass three. <clears throat> Oh, look it. This is a really bizarre hand. I have to tell you, I don't know that I've seen a hand that looked where I ended up with two Kongs. No jokers, no flowers. Okay. Oh, all right. So let's see. If we did one, two, three, I need at least, oh my God, I need some good picks. I am it's too many to even talk about right now. One plus one equals two. One, two, three. Both equal counts in every way and what I would need uh, a lot. <laughs> so let's see. And even, of course, the quince, which would be a nice thing to, to get, but we'll see what happens. <clears throat> All right, just going to start dumping as many fresh tiles. Now I'll count the flowers when they go out, of course. The 6 p.m. went out. Oh, I got a flower. That's very, makes me very happy. And she just keep getting out fresh tiles on the board. And I got another flower. Oh, my goodness. How lucky is that? So basically for either the addition hand, 1 plus 1 equals 2, or one, two, three in the mixed soup, I am in a good position depending on um, what I get rid of. Now, I want to get this over here because I'm a little nervous about getting clicking on those <laughs> fast fingers here. Oh, so, oh, the winds, the winds, that lot went around, but I haven't seen a lot being dumped yet. Uh, don't need that, baby. And let's see, there's one six spam out, one three crack out. So either one is going to go. And there's another soap. And by the way, it was discarded early on. So they did the right thing. And I'm going to go ahead and dump mine as well. <clears throat> yeah, oh, another situation. Look at that. But that's the reason why you do it. We're at that same situation where it could be the same hands that we talked about earlier. Oh, wow. Look at that. One, two, three. It looks like one, two, three is going to win out. I need one good pick. Now, wouldn't it be really cool if I got in a three and I made a jokerless mahjong? <gasps> that would be exciting if these bots who have all of the jokers. But of course, I won't be greedy if I do get a joker. Sometimes people like to take chances. Uh, there goes one, one bam. So that weakened my one bam side of the equation. So I'll probably not be doing that. Oh, let's get these in order. Okay. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I get a three bam in. All right, we have an eight crack and soap for Joker Exchange. And the six crack, I'll just keep getting out. Ooh, look at that. Another six crack that we could use for a Joker Exchange. So some people have a lot of jokers. Ooh, now, could this be? Uh, no, it can't be Amistad, because Amistad is probably playing uh, two, what is he playing? Two, four, six, eight. Two suits or one suit? Five, 
two, four, six, eight, two suits or one food. I don't think it could be any other in the run area. Um, unless you see something, put it in chat. All right, let's get rid of that. <clears throat> Uh, nope, don't need it. Uh, come on, come on, give me a good pick. Oh, a flower. Oh my goodness, you know, it's really tempting to play that quintian. Boy, is it tempting. Oh, I can at least get rid of the one bam. And still see if it, I, seriously, that would be like a crazy miracle if I got it. But with all of these guys, they're jokers. <laughs> what are the chances? It's always fun to try something. All right, there goes a three bam. Bummer. Uh, oh, let's see. Can this be anybody's? We don't know. And it doesn't matter. We got to get rid of it anyway. Whether somebody needs it at this point in the game uh, does not matter too, too much. So we have to just get rid of our hot tiles at this point. Most important to get rid of them all. And anything I can get rid of here, all right, could be two, four, six, eight, but I'm not giving up a chance of winning yet. All right, we've got like numbers or eight, nine, eight, nine for Kurt on the left here. So it's either uh, eight, nine, eight, nine with the three, eight dots out. I'm going to guess that it's probably more likely like numbers. And uh, how many nine BMs are out? None. Okay. Well, it could be could be Mahjong. We got to just do it. Nope. All right. Now, this is a question for everybody. We need a vote again. How many of you guys want me to take a chance and go for the quince? <laughs> And hope that I get two jokers. Belle is shaking her head and she's saying, no way. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, Phyllis, right? Right now, if I play one, two, three, I need at least one joker to cover the three bam, right? Okay, I know. One less than two. Um, But I could call the flower without any jokers. Oh, I see some smiles out there. Oh, Linda, Carol, Susan, on. All right, Linda says you already need one joker for the three BAM. What's one more? <laughs> Linda's a risk taker, too. Oh. Randy, what would you say? Oh, Randy said do it. Oh, my goodness. This is such an unusual hand, but why not? You know, look, I like to win, but I don't do these Wednesday night things to win the game, although it's great to win it because it's more about a learning experience, right? So why not take a chance? That would be the coolest win ever. If I had gotten that other three BAM in, we know that my mind would have been made up. All right, I'm calling it. Oh, Hannah, keep your fingers crossed. I definitely need a joker. <sighs> Man, uh, let's see. Do we have anything here? No. Okay. So we're going to get rid of that. Come on. Oh. oh, look. I only need one more joker. 26 tiles left. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Maybe. 
Maybe. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh, seven dots sounds like it's a little hot to me. No, there's two out. God, everybody's taking jokers but me. Uh, do I have to worry about this guy at all here? The east, I just want to make sure. I don't, one, two, three, west, two east, no. I haven't been paying too, too much attention. Uh, oh my goodness. Eight BMs. How are we doing with eight BMs? Two. Two out. Uh, not getting rid of it anyway. This is too exciting. Oh, son of a gun. Son of a gun. And we said seven dots were okay, I think. Wow, that was a late call, but he didn't have to put up jokers. You don't want to call late and put up jokers if there's still a natural tile available. Remember that, because that could be somebody's mahjong. Oh, I, look what I picked up, a 4BM. And let's see, we've got one, two, three out. If Amistad has a lot of jokers, it could be uh, his two, four, six, eight, but I'm trying to see if what the chances are that he's playing with one suit rather than two. So let's just look really quick. Um, two, one, two BAM, two, two BAMs, and then four BAMs, one, and one went out recently. So I have a good feeling he's not playing with four band, two, four, six, eight. And it's only a game. We're committed now. We've got to go for it, don't we? <laughs> you. Give me a joker. Come on. Bummer. Bummer, bummer. Now, why do those five sound so familiar? But I don't think anybody needs them anyway. So, I mean, they don't, it sounds like, is there anything else that I am missing? Because I don't see five. I don't, that sounds so, I don't see five cracks. Okay, hold on. Debbie, Debbie, oh. you only have, there's only three more tiles. No, 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 I know, I know that. I don't okay. have, a, I don't have a pick left. But I'm just like wondering why, who would be holding five cracks? There are two five cracks out there. Oh, there, there are. Okay, okay. So um, I just wanted to make sure because I know at this point I don't have another pick anyway, so I can't do anything. But this would be my only tile to throw at this point. But wow, came really, really, really close. That was fun to try. That was so much fun to try. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, it looks like it's going to be a wall game. Oh, wall game. Okay. Let's see. So two, four, six, eight with the dots. Okay. And then this was two zero two three with the dragon and like numbers. And he had his pair of nines. So he was all set with that. So he was just weak on the joker. So everybody got very close. Wow. We all got so, so, so close. And let's see, there were three, four. I discarded one joker, five, six. And then. I guess at the very end, there were others discarded. No, there's four, five, six, four, five, six, seven. I discarded somebody else discarded one. So that was a good try. Hannah, that's a good suggestion that you made. This was such an unusual hand to have like those Kongs at the end of the Charleston and then be so weak everywhere else. <laughs> But it was fun. 
All right. Well, everybody, that was really, really fun. And by the way, for anybody new here tonight that likes this game platform, you want to come in and try it out. You could come in and in the video description, which will be posted tomorrow at some time, there'll be a direct link where you can get three weeks for uh, to try it out for free. So watch out for that if you're not a subscriber on YouTube. Thank you, Carol. Um, already, please head over to, to YouTube, to MajCon, M-A-H-J-C-O-N, and please subscribe to my channel and support me. It helps so much, and it helps me be able to keep doing what I'm doing, which is uh, spread the love of Mahjong to you guys. And thank you again. Thank you so much for helping me. I love when you guys help me out. And I hope you learned something and had fun. And I will see you. Let's see. Sunday night is Expert Connect. It's from 7.30 to 8.30. And I interview twice a month uh, well-known people in the community, experts or entrepreneurs. And this week is um, Jennifer from the um, uh, Mahjong Fever. At uh, they do the uh, tournaments all over. But it's nice to hear about you know, how they got started in Mahjong, how they started to do what they're doing. And it's just fun. So every single one of the interviews have been really, really cool so far. So please join me. That's on the Facebook group if you want to uh, register for that event. And then the beginning of next month, I have um, a monthly special event. And that one is on, and that's also an event already published. And that one, if I could find my my sheet on it. Um, anyway, it's rule, I don't have it in front of me, but it is all about um, rules that are rules, but they don't come with penalties. That will be kind of a fun and informative evening. So I look forward to seeing you in another event until the next time we meet. Good night and have fun. And I hope you get a lot more jokers than I got tonight in my hand. Good night, everybody.